Scorpio, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince, welcome to 7D Tarot. Scorpio, today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now Scorpio, if there is a certain amount of money you would like to make or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your read where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. First card, Ten of Swords. This is a warning sign from your angels and all they're telling you right now is have your frequency match the frequency of your desires. What that really means is if you visualize something, make sure your heart says we can do it. So yes, I can see it and your heart says I can feel it. Brain and heart coherence. And right now all you're doing is matching your expectations to your emotions, right? You're just matching, you know, you're having that brain and heart coherence. And right now, beautiful things await you. Like the fact that you got the Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands. It's like there's a celebration, a monumental moment about to manifest for you soon, but you're 95% there. But that 95%, that last 5% is everything. I'll give you an example, right? Imagine you're really thirsty and you want to drink a glass of water. Now imagine if it's 95% alkaline, beautiful, fresh water, but that last 5% has a little bit of mortar oil in it. You're not going to drink it. You're going to be like, ew, right? That last 5% is very important. Or imagine like you go to your friend's house, you drive there, but then like to get out of your car and walk to their front door, that last 5%, if you don't go do it, you know, the task isn't completed and that's what's going on here. You are so close to getting what you're looking for. Now you got the three of pentacles, seven of cups, the full ace of cups, loving that. You also have the hangman, five of pentacles, four of pentacles, so a little bit of resistance there. But you got the page of pentacles, seven of pentacles, the high priestess, the higher fan, and the star. Loving this for you so far. Now Scorpio, your affirmation for today is love comes to me naturally. Quantum entangle with this energy, write it down in the comment section. Love comes to me naturally. Invite love, welcome love, let your angels and guides know, the universe know, you welcome this energy. Love comes to me naturally, write that down in the comment section. Now I see here, your love life, your work life, your health, everything is in, in, intertwined. Right now you are so close to attracting everything at once. And that's the beautiful thing. Like when the synergistic events start taking place for you, it's one thing after another in a very, very good way. You gotta understand that promotion immediately comes after you meet that special somebody, immediately comes after you go on that trip, on that vacation, or you know, you all of a sudden now your clothes start fitting nice and tight and feeling good and like you're comfortable in your own skin. You're like, how the heck am I losing all this weight? everything happens at one time. Like when it rains, it pours, that's the exact opposite of when it shines, it shines. That's the energy I feel from you. You gotta understand that you are on the cusp of something beautiful happening. There's a major transformation about to take place in your life. And right now your energy, by changing your energy, you're changing your life. Remember, you are 95% there. There's opportunity after opportunity here that's about to manifest for you. And that last 5%, that last 5% is the only thing you gotta focus on. What does that mean? When you think of your soulmate, when you think of having financial abundance, and when you think of your health, it's the same energy. I'll give you an example. Right now, visualize yourself holding your soulmate's hand, putting your head on their shoulders, feeling their beautiful, safe, loving, nurturing energy. Ah, <sighs> right, being with them. Now visualize yourself looking at your phone, looking at the banking app, and all of a sudden going into your checking account and seeing $25 million in there. Someone left you an inheritance, right? You just, someone just loved you for who you were. They just, you were such a kind soul. You did one act of kindness and they decided you deserve their money. They left you $25 million. Breathe in, look at that. Ah, <sighs> notice both those feelings are the same. Ah, that surrender, that security, that love. It's the same energy, it's joy, right? So love, health, wealth, it's all the same energy, thank goodness. You don't have to place three orders, it's one order. All your entire purpose, your main objective from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, what you have to do is make sure that your energy matches the energy of what you expect to receive. It's always the same energy, it's ah, love. So what does this mean? In order to feel what you're looking for, match that frequency, match that energy, you have to think thoughts to match that energy. How you think and how you feel creates your state of being. When your thoughts are in alignment with what your expectations are, you will feel that, you will get what you're looking for. So what does this really mean? Right now, you gotta understand, from the moment you wake up, your DNA, <laughs> immediately, you have this energy of fight or flight. 
you wake up and then your mind goes problem solving mode. Okay, food, shelter, finances, what do I do, right? How do I get, how do I improve my life? How do I do this, how do I do that? That is fight or flight. That's releasing cortisol, adrenaline in your body. And that's the exact opposite. Uh, that's not the feeling of love or creation. Like for example, if a tiger shows up and wants to eat you, are you gonna be thinking of manifesting in your soulmate? No, you're gonna be like, okay, what do I do here, right? That is what happens when you think of your bills and worries. Now you gotta understand there's a time for that, but that's not the first thing you wanna do in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, what you wanna do is calibrate to the energy of what you're trying to attract. Law of attraction, like attracts like. So, easiest quickest way to do this and i'm talking the easiest ways to meditate and meditation i'll show you a trick that you get it done in two minutes right in 10 minutes 15 minutes it's not like something you got to go effort and work it's none of that it's super duper easy the godmother of source abraham hicks confirms this you can spend an hour meditating if you want that's great it's better than watching tv but it's unnecessary so what does this mean right now by tapping into source energy, you're in perfect alignment with what you want. You ever ask yourself why love feels so good, happiness feels so good, feels so natural, and then hate feels wrong? Love feels like breathing air, and, and hate and anger and depression feels like you're holding your breath. Huh, unnatural, right? Why is that? Because you are source energy. You're in alignment when you feel love. It's normal. It's, 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 it's completely how, you, you know, how natural it is for you. But whenever you feel like something is off, that is unnatural. It's like literally being underwater and you can't breathe. So right now when you wake up, sit up, palms up, bring your attention between your two temples to your main temple, your third eye. Don't think. Put on some focus music, right? Or listen to the sound of your breath. Do not think. The problem people do when they meditate is they'll be like, all right, time to look for limiting beliefs and shadows. No, that's thinking. Or they'll be like, all right, time to feel good. No, that's thinking. Do not think. What you're doing is you're putting yourself in a state where you're ah, letting go. Now, by not being in this, in this, let, not by being in this letting go mode, not causing resistance, you are allowing. That act of allowing is when Spirit can actually bring opportunities, situations, and synchronicities in order to get you what you're looking for. But unless you're in the act of allowing, you are not going, you're not magnetic and you're not getting what you're looking for. So right now, understand that everything you want in your life requires you to let go to receive. This is very important, to let go to receive. So by taking 10, 10 to 15 minutes, not thinking, now you understand what your baseline is. You're gonna feel like, Huh, I see, so I'm supposed to feel nothing. Exactly, that's it right there. You're not supposed to have any resistance, right? When you are there, next time throughout your day, if you have a thought that lowers your frequency, you have a baseline of what to come to. But if your frequency, your baseline is, is, is lower, the lower frequency energy from the get-go, you don't know what baseline is, and then feeling resistance is normal. When you don't feel resistance, you're itchy and antsy, right? That's why you do that 15 minutes of meditation, 10 minutes of meditation, which is quicker than taking a shower, and you will change your life. Now, your spirit animal is grasshopper spirit. Look at the message. Take the leap of faith, right? Take the leap of faith right now by changing your energy. Take the leap of faith by saying that affirmation. Love comes to me naturally, writing that down. Take the leap of faith. You got to understand, the universe spirit is your GPS, but you are the driver of the car. For example, the GPS is not going to tr drive the car for you. The GPS is not going to, you're not going to, you know, GPS is not going to make you get in the car. You have to go do that, but it will guide you. And that's what your angels and guides are. They will guide you and tell you where to go, but you have to instill that will greater than the programming. Now, final message from your spirit guides. Look at this beautiful message. Be true to your heart. Wow. Absolutely love that. And right now they are telling you, in this moment, draw on your energies of harmony and union when making a choice, the current situation is best supported using intuition and not in, in, intellect. What does this mean? Think of what to do next. Your brain thinks, but the heart knows. Excuse me, feel what to do next, I think. So the brain thinks what the heart knows. For example, the brain may be saying, do this. This is the analytical, practical, realistic approach, but the heart's like, mm, I don't think so. Listen to the heart. Your heart is your emotional guiding system. It's literally, that's what emotions are. It's your GPS. It will give you warning signs when something feels off, but it will also tell you when something feels right. Follow it. When you feel something, immediately afterwards, expect fear to come in and try to talk you out of it. This happens to everyone. For example, inspired action. I should go start a business. Fear setting in. No, we're gonna fail. This don't listen to. You have to understand that when this sets in, don't listen to it. Change your thoughts, change your awareness, change your energy, and change your life.
All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I appreciate it. Until next time, follow your passion.